Hey guys, what's going on? Shah here, and today I just wanted to quickly talk about the Guardian Druid buffs that are going live. I think next week they're being patched in or hot fixed in on the 28th of June. Uh, that's obviously going to be a Tuesday for NA servers, that Wednesday for EU. So this is a quick breakdown that you're seeing on my detail screen of like a very simplistic, basic rotation single target. I did about 2.6k DPS. Uh, pretty low. Obviously, that's not considering the fact that like I have no consumables on. I have no additional buffs from my group, uh, whether it's Mythic Plus or Raid. And like I didn't use Incarn. I literally just went in and I just you know Thrash Mangle, Swipe, Swipe, Moonfire, whatever that might be. That just kind of basic rotation. I did use Bark Skin. I think twice. Uh, and of course, my uh, I was on a training dummy, so it was actually proccing my first technique. When it comes to percentage based increases or buffs like that we're seeing, so a 10% increased attack damage and 10% increased mangle damage buff. It's kind of hard to kind of, I mean, you can obviously picture like, oh, mangle will hit for 10% more, but in like a mythic plus scenario, it's kind of hard to know exactly how much of an increase this is going to be. So in single target, mangle and auto attack actually outside of, of course, like CDs um, and all these other buffs that I've been talking about, we're going to be seeing probably like an five to 8% buff. Thrash and Mangle together typically will make up close to 40 to 50% of a bear's damage. Now, what's really unique about this buff is with the current legendary setup that we run, which is Ursoc's Fury Remembered, it was actually worth in single target scenarios to still hit Thrash as a single target ability. I'm not sure how this buff will change that, but I could imagine that there might be scenarios where you're going to hit Mangle instead of Thrash now for a single target gain. With a 10% mangle buff, that will put it pretty much on par with what Thrash hits for. So let's like, buff, this is before buff. So we're seeing an average hit, normal hit of eight, uh, 1.8k, and we're seeing a normal Thrash hit of 1.6k. Now the reason you would still hit Thrash in single target is because with Ursax Fury Remembered, we would have the additional 15% chance for it to proc, which would obviously then duplicate that Thrash spell, meaning that it's going to hit for more damage. Uh, while it does generate less rage, more often than not, like Maul is a waste of a global and a waste of rage. So you would hit Iron Fur anyway. So like the th uh, and your ability to keep up an Iron Fur, it's pretty easy to do that in most uh, scenarios, especially with like where we are with secondary stats and all that stuff. Thrash was gonna just outweigh it, not only for the damage component of it, but also the fact that Thrash gives you an absorption shield based on the damage it does. So with these two things added together. You were typically seeing bears, even in single target with Incarn up, just spamming Thrash over and over and over and over again. Uh, in this scenario, I was not doing that. But as you can see, I casted it 38 times and I hit 44 times, which meant that I had a handful of procs in there. Now with Mangle being buffed, in this with this build, with this gear set, and obviously with no consumables, uh, the, the Mangle 10% increase will put it, pretty much put it on par with the Thrash increase from the Legendary, but you're going to be missing out on, the, on those Absorbs, which makes me wonder if it's still going to be worth hitting Thrash in single target, or if you might go to Mangle if you're not going to take any incoming damage. Though, spamming Thrash in single target also just look, fucking looks cool. So, if we go in here and I just spam Thrash, now I could trade this out for Mangle, and just start spamming Mangle, which obviously can be beneficial, except it caps us on Rage extremely quickly compared to obviously hitting Thrash, which means we could either dump Mauls or dump into more Iron Furs, which sometimes is pointless. But the other problem with running that is with, if you're Venthyr currently and you're playing Ravenous Frenzy, you're going to get to a lower stacks of Ravenous Frenzy because Thrash procs increase the stacks further so if we look here like i hit mangle a lot more times i hit mangle 22 uh, i hit thrash only 14 mm. i'm just like trying to figure out the best way to actually like look at this all right actually so here's what we're gonna do is i'm gonna wait a second i'm gonna do a full incarnation window where i'm just hitting thrash and single target and then i'll do a, a scenario where i'm just hitting mangle and single target and we'll see which one ends up doing more damage Essentially, like while the mangle and auto attack buffs are welcomed, they're now they're not game changing in any way. What ended up happening is at the very start of the patch, bears were doing outrageous numbers because of their tier set. So what Blizzard did is they cut the tier set down by like 40% damage. 
Uh, and over the last like couple months, we've been struggling with single target damage in both Raid and in Mythic Plus. So ideally what they're doing now is they are trying to compensate by like increasing our auto attack and mangle damage without it affecting our AoE capabilities, which is fine. It's welcomed. Going into Dragonflight, I'm hoping they do a little bit more to address that with the talent tree and like Maul, of course. But for now, we're just going to have to see. All right. So for... For the first test, I want to just actually thrash Incarn. We're going to thrash for the entire... We have no buffs. The only thing we're going to be getting is um, probably a little bit of RNG here. What This is what we'll do instead. I'll just put it on an IQD for now, and I won't use it. So this should mean that I... Let's just actually double check the macro. <laughs> I have it being used in the macro. Okay, good. Good thing I checked. All right, so I'm wearing a scale and an IQD. I'm not going to use either of those trinkets, so we're just going to pretty much be seeing base damage here. Um, the only other thing is I do have Celestial Guidance, but that should proc what I actually could do. So I want to actually... We're going to just go with, like... We'll go with Eternal Grace for now, because this this won't affect any modifiers. We just want to see what we can purely do based off of just, like, hitting Incarn. All right, so test number one. This is going to be just a, a th pure Thrash Spam for the entire duration. I'm going to put up Moonfire on pull, and I'm going to refresh it once, and that's it. Everything else will be Thrash, and I'll do the same thing with Mangle, where I won't I won't be dumping. I'll just hit Mangle. All right, so here we go. Moonfire, Incarn, and here's Thrash Spam. We're just going until Incarn falls off, and then we're stepping out. At this point, I want to refresh my Moonfire, and then we're just going to keep going. So we have Incarn for six more seconds. As soon as it's done, I'm just going to try to get away. So in that window, I was able to do uh, 36 casts. My procs were a little low, but actually it's kind of just on par. It's 15%, right? 36 casts, 42 procs. Um, and I was able to do 8.5k single target DPS in 36 seconds. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll wait. And then next time, it's going to be interesting because with single target you st with mangle does more damage to targets that are bleeding so you still want to keep th you want to keep thrash maintained and you want to keep moonfire maintained but what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit more of a dynamic rotation where we're going to have to keep up moonfire thrash and mangle pretty much mangle spam purely thrash spam so this is going to be a more uh dynamic rotation all right so we have 10 seconds so again i'm going to open with moonfire uh, I'm going to apply probably a thrash or two, and then we're just going to mangle spam. And we want to see what kind of damage it's going to compare to. Obviously, the buffs aren't through yet, so we are going to have to do a little bit of math after this, but I want to see. It'll be interesting. All right. Here we go. Going in, we moonfire, we incarn. I got one thrash bleed applied. And we're just mangling now at this point. I want to do one Thrash and one Moonfire here just to reapply my dots. I did get a Thrash proc there, which put me up to three stacks. This is so weird. I normally don't spam Mangle, so this feels very, very strange to do. And Incarn's fading. So very similar, 36 seconds in combat with obviously some dots ticking. This time I did 18.2k damage. So if you see here, uh, so Mangle did 121k, 81.5k from AA, so less damage from that. Moonfire still did our 38.3k, so a little less damage. It's just probably like an extra crit from melee, because it's pretty much identical. And then obviously, like, we did hit Thrash and Thrash Dot, so if we can, com we'll combine them together. Together maybe so it's 18 19k exactly and that's because we want the extra mangle damage so this was 8.5k dps over 36 seconds and then this was 8.2k dps so so let's just imagine this for a second so imagine a 10% buff we're still going to see melee buff here so 10% would be an extra 3k 
So this is gonna be around 40K and same with here. So both of these are gonna go up 3K. And the biggest difference we're gonna be looking at is going to be the Mangle versus the Thrash. Mangle right now falls a little bit behind Thrash spamming in single target. But with a 10% buff, we're gonna see an additional 12K on this guy. So in theory, uh, June 28th damage buffs. I did not spell theoretical, right, did I? Theoretical, holy shit. I'm looking this up. No, I did spell right. Huh, I'm a genius. Okay. So we're going to see an extra 10% increase on this. So 12K. Was that 133K? And we can assume that this is mostly going to stay the same. We'll see probably like an extra 3.5K here. So we'll say 41K, uh, 41K damage for melee. Which, even with those buffs in the comparison, this should put us around... Pretty much the same, right? 81.5 plus 38.2 plus 41 plus 19k. So with the new increase buff, we're now going to be doing 8.6k DPS, which is comparable to purely spash thrash spam. But the problem with spamming mangle now in single target uh, during incarnation window, for example, is that you're going to miss out on the absorption healing you're getting from the thrash, which is going to make us less sturdy. So pretty much after this testing, we can pretty much conclude this probably isn't the best way to test it, but we can pretty much conclude that like, yes, it's a it's not going to shift our incarnation rotation. If you're in incarn, you're pretty much spamming thrash anyways. You're praying for RNG procs off of your thrashes, which can happen. You could get an insane proc rate during your incarnation window. You're also going to get the higher stacks, which means you're going to do just more AOE damage. So as soon as there's a secondary target, Thrash skyrockets. So are, how, are, how are the buffs actually looking? Buffs are great. They're welcomed. But they are not going to change your incarnation rotation. You're going to do whatever you've been doing exactly how you have been doing it. It's probably um, maybe like a 2 to 3% single target increase overall and... In AoE and like it, overall in a key, for example, it's probably maybe one ish, two percent DPS gain. It's very minimal. We can actually come here to look at a 20 hauls overall. Uh, I did s just shy of 16k. This was kind of a cracked run. I obviously had um, the Stoneborn melee in here as well as some Stone Breaths, but even then, look at how little ma damage my mangle ended up doing. Uh, despite casting it 147 times, it only averaged hit for like 1900, it crit for 4k, that was probably in Incarnation Window, uh, at the end of a Ravenous Frenzy ramp, where I kind of try to dump a little bit more single target damage towards the end of that. Uh, and same thing here, like our melee does 4% of my damage, so 10% uh, of that, yeah, I mean it's like a 0.4% increase here, it's 0 0.2 here, like we might see a 1% increase in keys. Obviously you have to take into account the fact that I had extra buffs like Loyal Stoneborn, but Buffs are buffs are welcomed, but they're not gonna change the class. It's not any stronger than it has been. It still lacks defensive capabilities and all that. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna try to chop it up so it's not as awkward. But, uh, yeah, hope you're all staying happy, healthy. Uh, sucks, warlocks, that you're getting nerfed, but uh, you knew it was coming eventually. So, I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.